Having raised the issue of Slade's Law of Computer History, I suppose I should address it. Um, as I say, it is a, a principle that we need to keep in mind. When you know the basics, when you know the fundamentals, when you know the concepts, rather than just what the marketing department is calling it these days, then um, you see examples of this pretty much everywhere. That, uh, you know, marketing uh, tends to find new terms, describes things in new ways, and this is not really new. And as, uh, you know, as I say, those who do not learn the lessons of computer history are doomed to buy it again repackaged, whether or not it worked the first time around or not. And sometimes even if it did work the first time around, yes, they're going to try it again and sell it to you as a new be-all and end-all. This is the uh, only security that you will need when it worked reasonably well the first time, but it's not going to be, it wasn't the be-all and end-all then, and it's not going to be the be-all and end-all now. Uh, so, you know, sometimes, yes, it's a valid technology, but we need to be careful, we need to know what we need in addition to this particular technology system, whatever it may be. Uh, and sometimes it's just a buzz phrase. And, as an example, I give you the cloud. Now, the cloud, uh, well, it's, it's not a particularly new term right now, um, but it, uh, even when it was a new term, it was a, uh, uh, you know, yeah, not not the be all and end all. Not you know, everybody was saying you know this is this is all you need, and no, this is not all you need because you need to know, particularly in terms of security. I mean, the cloud uh, is just somebody else's computer, and we have had this before. At one point, it was called time sharing. At one point, it was called distributed computing. At one point, uh, it was, you know, at least partly referred to as client-server. Uh, at, um, you know, it, it's, it's a useful tool uh, at times, useful for certain things, and you need to know what it's useful for and what it's not useful for. And when it came along as cloud, which I tend to remind people is an acronym standing for could lose our under drawers. You know, it's, it is not anything special in terms of security. It is somebody else's computer. And if we are relying on somebody else's computer for security, we need to know what somebody else is doing in terms of security on that computer. What type of security provision is there? Um, Amazon Web Services, one of the major cloud providers, uh, specifically because of European Union privacy directives and the fact that the United States has no particular privacy laws and regulations uh, when you uh, send something to Amazon Web Services uh, relying on the fact that Amazon Web Services has servers all over the place uh, and you rely on the fact that if your particular server is in the United States, uh, then if that server goes down, you simply roll over to another one of Amazon's servers. Well, no. Um, 
unless you make specific provision for that with regard to the contract that you have with Amazon, uh, Amazon stores your material on one particular server so that they don't come into these problems with regard to jurisdiction. That uh, they don't run afoul of European privacy regulations. That uh, they don't store it in, uh, you know, a server, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> a server in China where the government gets to look at everything, anything they want to. You know, so uh, because of these jurisdictional uh, regulatory restrictions, Amazon doesn't store your data on different servers. So if your particular server goes down, you may be stuck, even if you're relying on it for uh, availability. And if you're relying on it for uh, confidentiality or integrity, uh, again, you have to make sure that you know what Amazon is doing in that regard and whether or not this uh, fits with your requirements and your understanding of, of what your contract says. So we we need to in, ensure that these things that we uh, talk about um, as a new technology, that we understand what the fundamentals are and uh, that very often it is simply an old technology and, and it doesn't actually provide us with additional uh, functions or services uh, unless we specify those and, and understand what those are and understand the agreement that we have with the contractor. Uh, 